folks, I'm here at uh, King's Elementary. It's right over there, I guess. Hopefully the sun doesn't get in your eyes. Um, today I'm going to be showing you the wall. I'm going to be going back down here, down to the Little Miami River, uh, and telling you some stories about this wall uh, along the way. So let's get to it. I made the mistake yesterday. I came here to scope it out. And made the mistake of not taking this trail. <laughs> Took a bit of a tumble on the way there, but uh, that happens, I suppose. Some graffiti and whatnot on this uh, these couple trees. I don't have time to read those. But yeah, I'm just walking along this part of the trail right now. Oh man, look at this. Fallen rusted out tower. That's cool. I don't know what the tower's for because I don't know where the top went, but uh, look at that. Wow. The frame and everything. We'll come over here. This is where the Little Miami Valley starts. Here you can start to see some more of the Little Miami. There's some of these wooden, wooden posts here. I don't know what they're here for exactly. But in a second, we'll come up on a little area you can look down on the river from. But yeah, it's right down there. You can see it. On that watch area. Yeah, we'll go ahead and go down these steps here. Although they don't look fully safe. The river's right there, so look at how it ravines here. There's kind of this this ravine where I'm sure, yeah, there's a creek down there leads into the river, but it look at how that dips. I mean, you can't see these honeysuckle plants in the way. But it dips so low, and it looks like there's some of the sycamores along the creek leading into Little Miami. That is cool. Going up on the cement part, there's Little Miami. I'll go ahead and tell you the story of these foundations now. In about July of 1890, I don't know if you uh, aware of this, but Little Miami River used to be popular for gunpowder factories, mostly due to the amount of willow trees that used to be in the area. There's not much anymore. <laughs> there are, you can't really see them, especially because it's winter. Um, but there used to be lots of gunpowder plants. There was the King Powder Company this side, and then over there somewhere is the Peters Cartridge Company. That one's actually uh, pretty popular for urban explorers. But in July of 1890, uh, the King Powder Company uh, exploded. <laughs> the idea is the two freight cars collided. One of the brakes had failed on one of them and caused it to collide with the other. And that was enough of a spark to light all of the gunpowder. And so the entire King's Powder Company just went up. I can't remember how many people died. I think a few children were involved with them. Right now I'm standing on this little wall. Uh, I wish I could show you better from the bottom. In fact, I will go down there. We've got this kind of cement peninsula. I'm not sure what it's there for. Um, it might have just been foundations. But yeah, let's head on down there. So when I started, I was talking about the wall when I started this video. This is not the wall. It is a wall, but it is not the wall. We will see that in a minute. This kind of boggy area has a lot of rusted out, you know, old stuff. I think we found like a big tank of some form, like a pressure tank or something. I'm going to go ahead and get on this cement outcropping and here is the wall I was on top of it's got all kinds of graffiti people come down here all the time there's some more graffiti along the concrete peninsula here some of it you know vulgar but that's just what happens there's multiple remnants of campfires there's one there one there one over there I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> I've seen that a couple times, but I don't know what it is. Here's another fire. Here's some steel piping, and oh, it's got threads on it, like it has a screw or something like that. Well, there's another cement thing over there. I don't know if you can see it very well. I'll try and zoom in. But uh, I don't know what that is. That might have just been part of the factory as well. Um, that, that area is really cool. I've been over there. That's where we found that uh, big rusted out It's more graffiti and it's just really cool on this peninsula just not only because there's a bunch of the graffiti and everything but all the dead the just dead plants like that, that root formation right there looks cool to me at least I'm sure there's driftwood that comes in from the river so okay let's head to the wall look at how thick that tree is man that's gotta be old it's a real old sycamore it looks like anyway so the King Powder Company I was one of many, like I said, Peter's was somewhere across the river. Um, 
And these explosions were actually not uncommon. It came to a point where the citizens of you know, Dayton and Mason and Kings and everywhere around here eventually got used to you know, hearing of another explosion. Of course, it would shatter the windows just about every time because well, it's loud. Um, they got used to it. They got used to people dying in these accidents. But surprisingly, a lot of people, a lot of the workers remained you know, working there. They, they figured that the uh, pay was good enough that they should stay. And I'm sure there's the risk, but just pray you don't get caught in one of those explosions. Some more foundations here. Big woods, whatever that means. Starting to come up. Get down this pretty steep slope here. Coming up back on the wall. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Little Pikachu. That's wonderful. That's cute. Oh, gosh. Now, this is a steep one. What? Oh, oh I'm slip there. Woo. Look at all this. I don't know if that's from logging. There's trees that have fallen down. There's more Pokemon. There's a Rattata right there. Goodness, I want to know the artist that makes these things. That's cool. And over there is the wall. Let's get to it, shall we? These barrels. I don't know why they're <laughs> old, rusted out barrels here, but uh, there's something on them. I can't read them. I don't know what they say. But yeah, coming up on the wall. It's gracious, there's another. There's a Charmander right up there. There he is. Excellent. Gosh, those are good. Wow. This is awesome. Right here, the river starts to run fast. Oh, I'd love to canoe down there, man. That would be sweet. And there's that foundation over there. That might have been a part of a bridge. It looks like it might have been. Wow. This is cool. Well, let's get to the wall. That's what you're here for. Here we are. I haven't been back here since the summer. We went only two times-ish this summer. But here we are, the wall. Morgan, I know who put that one there. Um, <laughs> look at all this, man. This is all just in the middle of the woods. All this graffiti. There's some pretty cool stuff here. I mean, it looks really well done. Some of it, like, look at this. It's got shading and stuff, look at that. Wow. You can see, I think that's a beehive they tried to make, and of course that spider web there, another one. Wow. Of course you've got the graffiti on that wall, some of it over there. Um, look at all this. This is so cool. I agree with this alien here. Sick. Yep, I agree with you. Um, <laughs> wow. I've thought about, you know, coming here and putting, you know, something just to put here, but I wonder how thick, you know, just all this spray paint has, has got, you know, I don't, like, I, I don't think it'd be like a centimeter thick by now, but I mean, they've been spray painting some of the trees. For the trees, somebody put me on this tree here. Wow, man. All right. Let's start heading on back. Yeah, this is the wall. Just notice there's even more foundation over there. I'm gonna go peek at that real quick. So I've never been over to these pine lawns. But look at the way that root goes to the cement foundation. That vine. Wow, there's another Pokemon. I wonder who makes those. I really want to know. But wow, there's a sand shrew. That's a bee drill. I got a war turtle. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. The river over there is starting to calm down by this point, but wow. Just all of this. Yeah, a little ghost. There's a fact name ghost. Wow. And this is all I'm I, this is all probably just foundation. I mean foundations for whatever buildings they had here. I don't know what kind of buildings they all had other than this powder factory but I'll be honest I don't really want to go down there kind of kind of freaks me out but uh, wow this is awesome man reeds I don't know if the reeds are 
bamboo or what these are, but I mean, I gotta here. There's a yeah. There's vendor stalks over here. I'm gonna show you. Get out of my way, my way, man. I'm trying to get through. Thank you. Um, because they look, those look similar to this plant, but not similar enough. They look like some kind of bamboo. Just because the way they have these these kind of ridges, I don't know if you can see that very well. Cameras not focusing properly. I mean, they're pretty light. Oh yeah, that's light. Let me just pop that. Sorry, sorry, plant. These must be reeds of bamboo of some kind. Those are those pretty neat. I don't know what those are. So that was the wall. I'm recording this now in case my phone dies <laughs> making up the hill. I mean, I had it at around like 86% coming down. I charged it home and I'm, right now it's at like 20. So um, I'm recording this now just in case, you know, my phone is dead by the time I get to the top. But yeah, there's the wall behind me again. I'm walking back from those weird reeds or bamboo. I don't know what it was. Um, but wow. And to think, you know, a hundred and what, 20, 30 years ago, 130 years ago, there was a booming gunpowder, you know, factory here. Now, booming, pun intended. Um, <laughs> but just a, a whole industry on the Little Miami of all rivers, which I wouldn't have thought, the Little Miami of, of all places, to have a gunpowder factory. But it was there. And... Peter's Cartridge Company, I'd love to go there someday, but I think it's actually illegal to enter. I think it's trespassing. The cops are not happy about it because people do it all the time. They're actually opening a bar over there, I think. Something like that. But I'd love to go over there too and just see, you know, to think that our own home, Mason, Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio, was a supplier of gunpowder for the regions around, for, you know, whoever was willing to buy it. And I think that's awesome. I think that's that's super cool. And I, I wish those factories were still standing today because I'd love to go in them and see, you know, if any of the machines are still there. Which I, you know, I wouldn't imagine. They wouldn't work, of course. But they'd still be there, and that'd be awesome to see. And heck, maybe take back a few home, take a few souvenirs home too. You know, that'd be nice. But uh, yeah, so that'll wrap this up. We'll see if my phone is still alive by the time I'm at the top. <laughs> I really appreciate you watching this video. Um, you know, I tried yesterday to, uh, on uh, Tuesday the 3rd, I tried to come down here and by the time I almost got to the wall, my phone was dead. <laughs> so I had to come back out today and I'm glad I did because being sunny like it was, you know, it's a, easier to see things and uh, my hands aren't as cold. It was colder yesterday, it was about 47 today. Uh, but I really appreciate you watching this. Um, and maybe, hey, you can come down to the wall. It's a really easy trail once you follow that kind of concrete path I was on at the beginning. You follow that and you'll find a few offshoots, gravel mostly. Um, the path I took, of course, you go down those old rickety stairs. Kind of scary, but I really thank you for watching, um, for coming out and watching this. Um, maybe I'll see you on another hike. Cheers. So update, my phone made it back. I'm at like 2%, so still made it back. Might not make it home, but it'll make it back. So yeah. <laughs>